Hey, precious souls, Dr. Karn here coming live from the Lighter Side Network studio. I just taped an episode of the Dr. Karn Show with the amazing, uber talented, amazing, fabulous Alicia Levitt with Alicia Levitt Media. Here she is. Say hey, guys. Hi. Let me make sure I can see you. Hold on. Um, there she is. Uh, Alicia, we just had this great talk on um, how to break through like what's holding you back from writing your book. So um, I never know if I can, yeah, there we go. So we, I want to talk about, um, you know, you've had this great journey where you've had to overcome, you know, obstacles or naysayers yourself. And now you have this gorgeous media company, Alicia Levitt Media, and you help people um, from every stage of writing books to publish their book, to finish it, to start it, to pitch query letters and proposals. And, um, and by the way, she's helping me right now, but we'll talk about that before we hop off. Um, let's talk about just real quick for our Facebook viewers. Uh, Two things. How, how, do people, how do you get people to break through to start their book? What keeps people from starting their book? And then what keeps people mostly from finishing their books? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the number one thing that keeps people from actually starting their book is the belief that they don't have an important story to tell, which is a huge myth. A huge myth. If you're thinking of doing a self-help book, you know, if you're an entrepreneur out there, an influencer, um, or if you just want to do your own memoir, you want to share something that you've been through, you have to know that it's so worthy of being shared. And we are in a time now more than ever um, where, you know, people are, are paying attention. They're listening. They want to know other people's stories. People mm -hmm. are constantly searching for hope, healing. They want to know that they're not alone in their journey. Yeah. And that right there, I mean, whenever you listen to someone else share their story, you know, chances are you find something very empowering and very inspiring that motivates you. So you have to be willing to know that you can be the same for somebody else and really claiming and embracing that, that sense of self empowerment. It's so important. And I think what keeps people from actually finishing a book that they've started mm -hmm. is a combination of, you know, time management, yeah. um, and not seeking like the right tools and resources to help them as they're going through the process. Because when you're writing a book, there are a lot of different things that you have to think about. You have to think about, you know, organization of the material. You have to mm -hmm. think about, you know, the editing part of it. You have to think about, you know, how are my readers going to receive it? It's a lot of stuff going on all, all at once. It's overwhelming, right? It's, it's very yeah. overwhelming. And you have to wear kind of a lot of different hats. And that right there can be enough to make a person go, it's too complicated. Mm -hmm. And that's where you have to know that, seek help, you know, hire a really great writing coach and editor, um, or, you know, get into a writer's support group and don't be afraid to be vulnerable and get that feedback from other people. Community is where the most powerful creation happens. Mm -hmm. So really just allow yourself to go there. I love that. You know, I found Alicia on uh, Facebook. Well, I found you through the Gabby Bernstein community. That, that is how yeah. we became friends, but um, I wa I've been watching her on Facebook and she's been doing some tutorials and it's so interesting. The, uh, I had a friend, um, suggest that I, I feel like she was really divinely led to another writer friend of mine to tell me that I should write a spiritual memoir. And I'd been really afraid to do that. And, uh, so this was a, I don't know, maybe a month ago and I sat down cause I mean, I'm a writer and I feel like I can do it and I have a book out and I started trying to outline it. And I literally was like, <sighs> I was frozen. I like didn't know, um, how to even start. Like I started writing and I got so overwhelmed. And so lo and behold, that day I, lo I look online and this live video that Alicia is doing pops up. Now, as you guys know, there are no coincidences. And when you are lining up with your, um, with your passion and with what is next for you in your life, and you're asking the universe to help you, things are going to show up non-coincidentally. And we just found out we have the same birthday. I know. We're like twins. It's so amazing. <laughs> it's so funny, but I went with it because I, you know, I was frozen and I needed help. And then I'm not kidding. I, I asked for help and I turned on Facebook with, I'm not kidding. It was like within the hour and there you were and you were answering yeah. questions that I had. And so we've been talking. And so I'm actually um, talking to her about doing um, proposals for two books. And one of them is a book that I've mostly already written on how to survive divorce in a really conscious way um, that I actually mostly wrote when I was going through my divorce and, um, divorces, you guys know I've been divorced twice and, um, looking at it again, like where it's not a place of shame. And I'm, I really wanted a fluid process. I've written a book before and it's, I know the process, it's a long process, but I wanted, um, someone to help me from the beginning, which before, um, I didn't realize I could do because the beginning of writing a book. And if you're seeking a publisher, um, and going the agent route and not self-publishing, you have to do a proposal, which is actually a pretty, 
um, big part of the project. I remember feeling like I was writing a, a small book before I was writing the big book. Yeah, yeah. And, and proposals, I think, uh, can be where people can make the most mistakes if they don't know what needs to happen and really doing doing the research, doing making it thorough, really putting putting everything in that needs to be there and making it as polished as possible. I've heard some people try to bang out a proposal in a weekend and they send it off and they're like, oh yeah, and, you know, it's good enough. But it can't be good enough when it comes to the publishing world. Like it has to be the very best you can possibly do mm -hmm. before you hand it over because it's a fast moving world. Agents don't have time to be sitting there and contemplating, you know, they just go on what they initially see. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to get that support if you're going to undertake something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just couldn't agree more and it's really, really worth it because it not only cuts down on the time, but it streamlines it. And then, you know, what I love about you is that you have this experience, all these levels of experience in the publishing world and you have two master's degrees and you're very spiritually connected. And so you have wisdom that's not, not only connected wisdom, but you also have, you know, an education and experience that inform you. So like last night, I asked you a question about writing a letter to somebody in the business and, and she had, you know, some really great wisdom to share with me, but you can walk people through like you know what the publishers are going to want to hear you know what is what, what's needed in marketing like you know and when you're doing a proposal you have to actually include that piece or you should include that piece because it shows that you've really thought it out and you need to explain to them why your book stands stands out you know and yeah. it, you got to believe in it exactly yeah there's this whole there was this whole part of it you know marketing is really important to pr a proposal and being able to do competitive analysis other titles that are you know similar to what you want to write um and how you know you bring something different to the table it shows that there's demand but it also shows how you can you know strut your stuff with your book um and you know you have to understand the the field that you're playing in. you have to understand what's going on what's relevant what's trending right now what readers are looking for um you know and if and if you work with a professional I encourage you to find out if they have experience actually in the industry. I think that's really, really important I would that agree. they can be able to guide you yeah. because you don't want to go half the way. You want to go all the way. Mm -hmm. um, and clients love the fact that I can bring so much to the table. You know, it's a really an umbrella, an umbrella service of skills and expertise. So I love it. I love her. She's so cool. cool. Um, so I'm going to let her tell you real quick how to find um, her. I don't want to give all of it away because we just taped this episode, and the episode is so great. She's, she gives you so many um, tips and um, just really divine guidance on how, uh, really aligned guidance on how to best, you know, complete this process, be inspired right from your heart. Um, the show is going to be up this Friday on the lightersidenetwork.com. You can find it there and uh, we will, I um, mean, you know, I'll look at the questions and maybe she can answer some of the questions um, that are coming up. Right now we're going to hop off, but I'm going to uh, let you guys know you can find her on Facebook. Her name is spelled A-L-I-S-I-A. -I -I -A. And I'm going to, you know what, I should have tagged you before doing this video. I'll tag her on it. You'll see your name. Go ahead and follow her, and you'll get all kinds of tips and tools. And if you feel aligned with her, she might be your girl to work with too. So tell everybody real quick um, your specialties so they know, like, if you're, yeah, like, if, if you line up with what they need. Yeah, I, we offer, my team and I, we offer um, book coaching if you are beginning to write your book and you don't know where to start or you've done a little bit of work on it but are overwhelmed. We offer book coaching, editing. We offer um, design services, so book layout, formatting, design um, we do marketing plans for people. Um, we do videography, photography. You can go all the way. If you want to self-publish your book, you can hire us to go all the way with you and do that. Or you can hire us for just, you know, any of those things in between. I also ghostwrite for some entrepreneurs. Um, if they're willing to make that investment, I ghostwrite, which means that I essentially, I interview you, do a lot of research, and then I write the book for you, and then you approve it. We go through editorial rounds. And that's great for people who are busy and just can't, Mm -hmm. You know, actually sit down and do it, but they can hire someone else to do that. Mm -hmm. A lot of celebrities, a lot of public figures have ghostwriters that do their books. Mm -hmm. um, and if anybody wants to connect, yeah, I'm on Facebook, Alicia Levitt Media. I'm on Twitter and I'm also on Instagram. So come say hi. <laughs> come say hi. She's super responsive and very, very wise. And she's, she's also gorgeous with the best eyebrows in the business. <laughs> 
All right, you guys, I'm going to sign off. Um, thanks for being here. I see we had a ton of people pop on already, and everyone that watches, I hope if you, feel, if you guys feel connected with her, check her out and see if you guys can work some magic together. I sure am. We've got a lot of work coming up, but it's going to be so fun and fluid. I can't wait. You guys have a rocking week. I'll talk to you later. Remember to always lead with your heart. You know you're going the right direction. See you guys later.